So guys, I wasn't planning on doing this today, but it's so nice out and we are under this, I call it a quarantine. So I decided I'm gonna get my aerator out and we're gonna aerate the lawn here at home since I can't go out and do it somewhere else because Michigan, we're not allowed to work yet. So let's jump to it. Guys, my name's Aaron and you're watching Lansing Lawn Service. I spent years of my life working in the retail and healthcare fields and I just got so tired of working nights and weekends. So I started my own lawn care business. Along with that, I started this YouTube channel and now I am all about helping you guys become more efficient so that you have more time for family, free time, and fun. So I know I've done this before, but I'm just gonna go over really quick the aerator that I use. I have other videos on the AgriFab plug aerator that you guys can go back and watch. This is just a quick overview for those of you that are new to the channel and have never seen anything like this before. So I use the AgriFab plug aerator. It works pretty good. It is a residential unit. This is not a commercial unit. However, I do use it commercially. So I don't have a whole lot of aerating that I do, but I do a few. So it's not worth it to me to rent an aerator or to buy one. So I simply bought this thing for 150 bucks, I think it was, 170, something like that. And it works great for what I need to do. As you can see, I've already done some here in the front yard. I pull it with my Hustler Raptor SD. It's a 42 inch deck. And I gotta tell you, I love this thing. I weighed it down with sandbags in there. I know there's junk and stuff in there, but um, those are both 50 pound sandbags. So. That's it guys, let's get to work.
right guys, we're done. It took maybe 45 minutes, so not too bad. We have a half acre, so not too bad. But yeah, it turned out good. We've got pretty big plugs that come out and uh, it works really good. Um, of course, it's not the best. You guys saw the handle kind of, it. I caught a root and the handle flipped backwards. It bent a little bit. It's hard steel, so it, it bent right back and uh, it, it works fine still. So that is a drawback to this. You could fix it by putting a bungee cord around here and just strapping it on there and that would work uh, for holding that in. I just don't do it. So, however, that is the first time that's ever happened to me where the handle flipped underneath. But other than that, guys, we are done. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. That helps this video go farther in the YouTube algorithm. And uh, as always, guys, if you like these videos, check out this playlist right over here. And I will see you in one of those videos.